Alright guys, welcome back to more Uncharted 4. Thank you for your support. Keep showing the love and I will keep cranking these episodes out for you guys. And with that being You were up there a long time. Well, I was researching something. Oh, is that what we're calling it these days? I was. Hey, would you mind grabbing the food? I'm just wrapping up here. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Thanks. There we go. Probably too long and full of typos, but that's what editors are for, right? God, I'm starving. Looks good. Mm-hmm. Joe, how was your day? What? Hmm? You've got none of that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm-hmm. Typical day in paradise. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I got to pull a bunch of garbage out of a river. Mm. Yes. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? Oh, some brilliant stuff. It was a uh, early 21st century truck we got. <laughs> Apparently the natives called it a semi. Oh, dear lord. Okay, so, so, it, it, boring stuff. Tell me about the article. Well, it started out as this fluff piece about tourism in Bangkok, but I don't think the magazine is going to like the angle that I'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shock to the lungs at the second that you got off the boat. Uh-oh. He's going off into that place again. Thinking about Malaysia. Ah. What? Where are you? I'm in... Here, you can stab with a fork. Oh, really? <laughs> what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? <laughs> Luckily, I was listening. Uh -huh. It's the tourism in Bangkok. Or was it the people? Oh, wait a minute. It's X. About, you know. The uh, lost city of Bangkok. Not, not of Bangkok. The lost city near Bangkok. No, no. Darn it, it was people. But it, the choices they gave me, I was listening. Wow. I don't care. I know it was Balin. I was in the really? ballpark, right? Yes. In state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. No, I don't want it. Really. I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky. All right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You Sully. have seen him in about two years. Well, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. It's just. I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Stop, I'll do them. No, hold you on. did them last night. No, you cooked. I cleaned. It's fine. I mean, at least, at least, uh, let me, let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me uh, play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high school. You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So, what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, cowboy. <laughs> Watch and look. Oh, my God. Boy, that brings back memories just seeing that. 
Here's what I want you guys to do. Give me a like spike on this video if your PlayStation was from your mom as a gift. <laughs> Cause mine sure was. Is there a problem? No. I love you, mom. If you see this, if you ever see this video, thank you for my PlayStation. Push the start button. I knew that. Right. I got it. As a matter of fact, this one was a gift. From my mom. Can you believe that? Oh, oh we, the D-pad. God, you guys remember Crash Bandicoot? Right. Which one's X? Right thumb. My high score is gonna be horrible. I'm too busy on a nostalgia trip. Up. I did nothing to this boulder. Oh, oh, God, this brings back memories. Y'all remember Crash Bandicoot Warped? Y'all thought, y'all millennials think Uncharted is a gold mine from Naughty Dog. This was what the gold mine was back in the day. I think we all, all of us 90s kids and 90s babies got our start on uh, Crash Bandicoot. Looks like we didn't beat her, guys. What is that? It? You asked for it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I practically had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good cleaning. Really? Are you gonna start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called Easy Mode. I just switch it. It's way right. easier on. Nope, just keep mode. talking. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm warning. What are you gonna do? I'm warning. In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me. What can you I'm do in you. real life? What do you think about that? Huh? <laughs> hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? Um. Um? <laughs> really? Come here. Not open yet. We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. Coming. Yes. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh, looking for my little brother. It's about your height, a little bit leaner. Nothing less gray in the temples. Sam? It's good to see you again, Nathan. God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, the doctors, they... The doctors, they patched me up and they... tossed me right back into the cell. But I, I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. <sighs> Nathan, we killed a guard. Okay, so they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. He's a Sam. I, man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have come, come back. I know, Nathan. I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. Hey, hey, you still with me? Need some air. <laughs> you 
You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. It's a lot to digest, you know? But how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Have a seat. I want to hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah, what's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. Tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. <sighs> These were crazy stories. Got shot. Hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas? Yeah, that, uh... That actually happened. Come on, man, what did I miss? Jeez, I start? Oh, so that took place before! Okay, um... A few years back, I got roped into... Uh, breaking into this Turkish museum to steal this oil lamp. Oil lamp. Uh, it was an artifact from Marco Polo's lost treasure fleet. Kubla Khan's treasure. Yeah. Yeah, and as it turns out, it was a whole hell of a lot more on those ships than just treasure. I mean, what can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and uh, we made it out alive. Barely. <sighs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, engagement ring. The... Engagement ring? I'm married. I can't believe uh, Elena from the stories. That's my wife. You gotta come meet her tonight. Dinner at my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. Shit, I gotta tell her all about you, Nathan. I'm in a lot of trouble. Uh huh. What? What are you talking about? What kind of trouble? Is the name Hector Alcazar ring about with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? It's a funny story, but uh, last year he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. Not reading the night. Samuel, come here. Listen. Guards. They're singing. Eh, well, they're probably drunk. Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives? Their miserable jobs? <laughs> I mean... They have wives to go home to. What do we got? Huh? No offense. We have ambition. Oh. <laughs> and when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. <sighs> what will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can. But I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time. Which I am sure you are sick of hearing about by now. Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has... become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? The opportunity of a lifetime. 
Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Se mete aquí. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel, are you ready to seek your fortune? Yeah. Vámonos. Holy shit. All right, ladies. And Bro, take care and I'll catch you.